As also, what's up guys, Ramen here back with more Persona 5 Royal. I'm gonna skip the boring stuff, you can look at the previous episodes, you know, whenever you want to. Last episode, like I said before, look at the previous one. You know, besides the fact we took the twins to McDonald's. And yes, you heard me right, McDonald's, basically, because that's what uh, Big Bang Burger is based off of. It's either McDonald's or Burger King. It's not Waterburger or, uh, it's not Waterburger or, you know, whatever. So, there's that. Also, off camera, I did a little bit of, uh, changes to everybody. Like, we still have everything here, but a lot of our stuff got changed. So, now Yusuke will have, uh, Salt Belt, which lets me use a Salt Dive. Which is actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Now everybody's got at least slightly different guns that don't look like garbage. because you're trained to run. Like we dash there and high chance shadows won't see you. Alright, so hang out let's see, hanging out with Mishima is kinda the only thing we can do. Uh, we could hang out with Sojiro, but I don't have a persona that's of the uh, current he's at. Bandit Thieves have really made their big primetime debut. Info has started pouring in from the fan site too. And I'm gonna be a busy bee. So you did the request I asked you to. Thanks. Hey, uh, there's something I want to talk to you about. It's super important. Do you think, uh, do you think you can make some time right now? You know, fuck it, why not? You're the only one I can talk to about this. You should go somewhere quiet if possible. What do you think? How about Ikashira Park? Why does everybody want to go over there all of a sudden? No, no, like, seriously, every time. I have some great in info for you. Um. It's about the next target for the Phantom Thieves. This one's massive. You're sure fired up. No, no. No, of course. We just got our, uh, we just got a huge target on our hands. This is the guy. He's a handsome young actor who's been rapidly gaining popularity lately. He's great at acting and has a solid conversational skills. He's even got all sorts of commercials. If you manage to change his heart, everyone will have to start paying attention to the Phantom Thieves. He's gotta be doing some shady stuff, I just know it. And no, I'm not saying that out of jealousy. I heard a rumor from a famous idol <laughs> that a fa famous idol fell uh, into his clutches. You need to act on behalf of her fans. Calm yourself. I am calm. And thinking about this, make, uh, thinking about it from my calm standpoint, I believe you guys can benefit from changing in his heart. I mean, this will be the best publicity possible for you guys. What do you think? I mean, pretty well, pretty good tactic, huh? Hey, amazing producer. Just you wait. We're gonna put the <laughs> Phantom Thieves on the map. You'll be practically swimming in requests. Mishima's motivation seems to be going stronger. All right. It's funny how he's literally the easiest one to max out at this point. That's right. I'm the producer of the famous Phantom Thieves. I'm not boring. I'm not a zero. Hello, inferiority complex. Hey, take out your phone. I just sent you the actor's data. Why? 
Don't worry, the request will boost your popularity, guaranteed. After all, I'm the only reason you got this far, right? Absolutely, nice job. <laughs> uh, yep, it's all because of me. Also, this is not how you... When you start seeing your friends doing this kind of crap, you start, uh, you know, uh, might want to check upstairs because he uh, might not be sane. The Phantom Thieves successes thanks to me, and the fa fa Phantom Thieves are changing the world. That means I'm the only one respo I'm the one responsible for those changes. Okay, so someone's gone on the loopy juice. That means I'm not a zero. And he's on the loopy juice. Make sure you check the info I sent you. I'll let you know once I've gotten uh, I found some more details. See you around. Bye. And that's why we recruit sponsors to help make TV shows. I'm sure you know about commercial breaks. Well, those are actually sponsor-related product placements. To sum things up, ratings are vitally important for a station's production funding, and... Huh. Everyone knows that. Chill, man. For example, soap opera reruns are shown in the day, whereas alluring newswomen are broadcast at night. Thus, the scheduling department is where we decide what time we broadcast which program. I suppose you could say it's the place where the scheduling is determined. Could this get any more obvious? You're right. <sighs> so sleepy. are taken from the footage in order to cut down the program to the desired length. The place where this filmed footage is edited would be the editing room. Hey, how much longer does this go? I swear, I'm not gonna fast. What's going on? I can't stand all this noise. Hey, asshole. M my apologies. I'll have them leave right away. Now then, it's time for a bit of hands-on experience. Damn it! Who does that jerk think he is? Hey there. You want to be on TV? Huh? Of course. You've got a slamming bot after all. <laughs> Dude, she's like 17, 16, give or take. Uh, I'm on a school trip. Just give me a call if you're interested. I'd greatly welcome a message from... Uh, yeah. Greatly welcome my ass. It's obvious what he's after. Do these rotten adults care about anything other than looks? I'll yank their stupid hearts out, damn it. Will you quiet down? You're supposed to be acting like good students today. I understand you're bored, but please don't cause any trouble, okay? Well then, uh, let's have you see what it's like to be an AC. Oh, that stands for assistant camera. When we're moving cameras, we need people who can keep the cables from getting tangled up. The blonde will do. He seems like he's got energy to spare anyway. Guy next to him, you can come too if you're feeling lonely. Come on, hurry up and grab the cables. It sucks. Ah, what a pain in the ass! This is totally killing my vibe. We fought valiantly against the long cables. I'm so pissed off! Aren't we supposed to be guests? Why the hell do we have to be doing manual labor? This is bullshit! I, going to the bathroom didn't even make me feel better. Quiet down, will you? 
I get how you feel, though. That sucked for the both of us. Oh, we gotta do more of this tomorrow, too? No flaking out, Ryuji. I know, I know. I gotta be a good boy, right? Oh, being Phantom Thieves ain't easy. And that reminds me. We get to go home straight from here today. We don't spend much time in this area, so why don't we relax and check out some shops beforehand? Oh, I know a place! I want to go to that huge pancake-looking place we passed on the way here! It looked delicious! What was that? Oh! You mean Dome Town? The round part is a baseball stadium, then along the outside, they've got an amusement park. It's right in the middle of a business area, but they have some pretty hardcore rides there, too. All right, let's go. I'll show you just how courageous I am. Going on a scary ride doesn't really prove any kind of courage. Not like cats can get on anyways. Really? Really. You might be able to sneak in if you stay in the bag, but you'd totally puke if you did that. But, uh, let's just go to Dome Town. I'm really feeling it now. Me too. My stomach's ready for roller coasters. Ah, uh, I think I'll pass on the puke rides. <sighs> Excuse me. I couldn't help but notice your uniforms. Are you students of Shujin Academy? Yeah, what do you want? I happen to be passing by, so it seemed polite to greet you. We'll be filming together, after all. <laughs> Where are my manners? My name is Goro Akechi. Akechi? Filming? What, you a celebrity? <laughs> Only to the extent of appearing on TV a couple of times. Oh! My apologies. I truly was just passing by. I must be going. There's a briefing for tomorrow's recording that I have to attend. So, you're going to go have cake now? I missed lunch today, so I'm quite hungry myself. Huh? Cake? What are you talking about? Oh, am I mistaken? I thought I heard something about delicious pancakes. He said it! He said the thing! He said the thing! No matter. Well, see you tomorrow. That guy's gotta be some kind of startup entertainer or something. He's never gonna get popular with that kind of hair, though. You don't get it. It's fine. We'll see him again tomorrow, anyways. Come on, let's go to Dome Town. All right. All right, so now we can go to Dome. Oh, now we gotta take Caroline and then to Dome Town that way. Hey, can we skip the vomit machines and get cake instead? God, I'm just immune to the pancake thing. I'm gonna puke. Oh, for real, my stomach's churning. This is why I spoke against it. Dude. It's not fair. Ugh, using your cathood as an excuse. Only at times like this. Anyway, are you guys feeling hungry? How about some pancakes? Let's go home. We have another full day ahead of us tomorrow. I still find it funny, yeah, they kept the pancake line in of all things, but it is well, technically a plot point. Like that's more of a, I don't know, but that's more of a uh, plot point that they can't really get rid of, even if they wanted to. Is, is it annoying? Is it kind of a plot hole, uh, or not even plot hole, just annoying? Yes. Hey. Akechi, okay, my plan was ruined because I heard the pancakes. Yes. No, seriously, yes. His entire plan gets screwed. Alright, since 
Wait, how close am I to what now? Let me double check that. Actually, I just realized I could have just pressed L3. Definitely close to improving knowledge. You can close to some, seeing some close to improving charm. All right, so I just need to increase intelligence today, charm, or intelligence today, guts tomorrow. Now, what do you want to do? Make sure your clothes up. Wow. Also, crossword doesn't. Wait, <laughs> how did you do crossword? Like, how do you do the crossword puzzle stuff? I haven't actually seen that done yet. Mr. Akechi's coming on! Ah! It's Akechi! Oh, coming. he's so cool! Ain't that the guy from yesterday? Cutting back from commercial. Seven, six, five seconds till start. Four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. Nato is better. Piss off. Hello there. Thank you for taking the time to join us today, Akechi kun. Your popularity is stunning. Even I found it to be quite a surprise. It is a bit embarrassing, though. Moving along, we've been told there's a case on your mind right now. Care to share, Detect- Oh, yes. That would be the scandal involving the master artist, Madarame. There it is! All of this phantom thief excitement has caught your attention, too, akechi -kun. Allow me to be blunt for just a second. What do you think of these justice-oriented phantom thieves? If they truly are heroes of justice, I sincerely hope they exist. Oh, so you don't deny the possibility that they're real? I may not seem like it, but I sometimes wish that Santa Claus actually existed. Although, if he did, I'd have to arrest him for breaking and entering. <clears throat> but hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. You have a point. These people are calling themselves the Phantom Thieves, after all. Amazing as always, Akechi-kun. I could listen to you for days. You ha I have to say, though, I would be embarrassed if it turns out these Phantom Thieves don't exist. If that were the case, I'd summarize it into a report as a school project. Now then, let's try asking some students the same age as Akechi-kun about the Phantom Thieves. First, please press your button now if you think the Phantom Thieves exist. Also, that is Igus's VA. Don't think you can't. Don't think you can pass that by me. By the way. Of course they do. About thirty percent or so. What are your thoughts, Akechi-kun? I'm a bit surprised. That's higher than I was expecting. I'd love to hear some more detailed opinions on the Phantom Thieves' actions. Right. Let's try asking this student here. Hypothetically speaking, what are your thoughts on these phantom thieves if they were real? They're just, uh, mm, they do more than the cops. <laughs> <laughs> this completely goes against the opinion you had about them being tried by law, akechi -kun. Indeed. It's rather intriguing to hear such a strong acknowledgement. In that case, 
There's one more question I'd like to ask. If someone close to you, for example, your friend next to you, if his heart suddenly changed, wouldn't you think it was the work of the Phantom Thieves? And they only target criminals. I see. But how can you be so sure? Whether the thieves' actions are good or not, I feel there is a more important issue at hand. Hmm? What do you mean? The matter of how they change people's hearts. If they honestly possess that ability, it could be used for more than extracting confessions. It could be that what seem to be ordinary crimes are actually being perpetrated by these methods. You know, you're absolutely right. Oh, please don't misunderstand. This is all purely hypothetical. It is only if people who can use such a power truly exist. Either way, though, this cannot be ignored. The existence of the Phantom Thieves would be nothing but a threat to our everyday lives. To be honest, I'm already working alongside the police to help sort out this matter. It kinda seemed like what he was saying might be right. He made it sound like we're the baddies. I don't like it. That stuff about the police. Do you think it's for real? He can say whatever he wants. The justice of it all is something we can decide for ourselves. Oh, sorry. I, I gotta go take a leak. Can you guys wait here? I'll be right back. Oh my god. I'm gonna keep going, okay? Oh, it's you. I'm glad I found you. I wanted to thank you in person. To paraphrase Hegel, advancement cannot occur without both thesis and antithesis. <laughs> My apologies. What I mean is that our discussion was quite meaningful. It's still weird hearing like all this from Akechi. Because every time I hear Akechi's voice, I just think of Saray from Tales of, Z uh, Tales of Zestaria and I can't shake it. This is basically just Detective Saray. Or Saray with an even more awkward haircut. Few people around me are so willing to speak their minds as freely as you did earlier. Adults are only interested in using the young. While they simply do as the adults say. There are too many irresponsible people in these modern times. I can understand why you'd support the Phantom Thieves. Hmm. It's possible that this group is just as you believe. And they are truly acting with good intentions. Since they have special talents, I assume their hearts must be burning with a sense of justice and duty. But that justice is merely a facade, concealing their lack of true strength. That's why I believe if a truly powerful opponent were to corner them, they would flee without a second thought. They will fight to the end. Oh, you really are intriguing. I bet you'd make for a worthwhile debate partner on the subject. If it's all right with you, would you continue sharing your thoughts with me? Yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. That's great news. I sense something in you that's quite different from other people. I guess you can call it my detective's intuition. <laughs> Kidding, of course. It seems Detect Detective Akechi is taking a liking to me. I can't believe you evaded the police's network until today. The only logical explanation is that someone in the police has ties to the Phantom Thieves. Explain yourself. I am thou. Thou art I. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains with the birth of the Justice Persona. Yeah, I, I forgot he is justice. All right. Ah, yes. We should exchange contact info. And registered. Well, I hope to see you again sometime soon. The detective's intuition, huh? We shouldn't underestimate that. 
On the other hand, there's an awful lot we could learn from him. If he contacts you, try hanging out with him. <sighs> Sorry for taking so long. Wait, was that a catchy? I can't stand that high and mighty attitude. <sighs> Just breathe in the same air as it makes me sick. Come on, let's go. What did they give a catch anyways? Now I think about it. Mm. Oh my god, not this again. That catchy bastard. Thinking about what he said is just pissing me off again. Let's click. Okay, not gonna read all of this because, oh my lord. You know what's funny is On technically has a point, even though Ryuji's kind of got a setup his ass, so he's not gonna admit it. That detective Akechi seems to have a lot of influence on the media. It'd be dangerous to get too close to him, but he may actually prove useful in some situations. Oh my God. all people getting angry about this anyway he means the survey on the fan site right i guess we should look forward to it Let's see what does a catchy have please ah wait what saluting instinct all right chance to reveal one enemy affinity and start a back wow they actually did make him good Originally, all of his confident abilities were basically locked off because they didn't want to give up the whole he's a party member thing. Which, uh, yeah, doesn't really do anything when it came to the original game. Hey. Alright, uh, where is that word puzzle thing that... This is studying. So many... Oh wow, I just switched costumes out of nowhere, but alright. Like, how do you do word puzzles in this freaking game? What is it? Will it always be burning the house of walls? Is there always great for me to break? I'm a shop shifter. I'm hanging both face and mind. Uh, What's I planning on doing? Oh, right. The uh, Big Bang Burger, because I think you could do it at n if you do it at night instead of just rainy day, because my dumb self decided to try to do that earlier. Um. Just do it. It's better than paying two. Thank you very much. Oh my god. How am I quote unquote close to maxing or increasing guts, but it doesn't actually go up? 
Great. I think this is around the time when Makoto asked us to take take down Kanashiro, I think. The Phantom Thieves are super lame. So all, literally, oh look, more Haru screen time. Hey guys, did you want more Haru screen time? Well there she is, just literally covered up by everything else on the screen. It says who? from yesterday really pissed me off. Or some kind of threat? Let's see him do it then. If someone else could help him, we wouldn't be doing stuff as the Phantom Thieves to start with. Ow! You're being way too loud. Who cares? Everybody's talking about this stuff anyways. They'd just be more suspicious if we were whispering. You're really just gonna keep eating and eating and eating those things all by yourself? Give me some! Sorry, just ate the last one. You guys are too laid back. The police are getting involved now, you know. So you think it's true? We'll be okay if we keep doing this, right? We can't let the cops scare us out of being phantom thieves. But what about that weird guy from Madarame's palace? Isn't there a lot we don't know? The hell? You three seem to be having so much fun. I'm a little jealous. Are you snooping on us again? We said before, we don't know nothing. Why do you think I'm here to question you? Could it be that you're hiding something? My ears are always open to the troubles of my peers, you know. You're really that hungry for a good letter of recommendation? <sighs> of course you are. Nobody would take on your annoying job if they weren't. What's that supposed to mean? You're student council president, right? Wouldn't you have known about Kamoshida? Of course not. He honestly was a good teacher until that day. Oh, but you always take the teacher's side. That's what a good council president does, right? Then how about you? What did you do for your friend? You were much closer to her than I was. So how did you help? There wasn't any way to help! By myself, I couldn't do anything for her. You know, both of you have good points, but you're both idiots for this one. There's no need to shout. If those Phantom Thieves are out there helping people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. They've gotta be more dependable than some people I know. Just make sure you show up to your classes, all right? The thing that sucks, though, is that On's taking rumors as facts and literally taking out on Makoto for, like, no reason. Is she pushy? Yeah, but kinda hurt when the principal's down her neck. You know what I asked earlier? About whether we'll be okay if we keep this up? I take it back. I'd be ashamed to let it end now. Hell yeah! It's about time we find our next target, too. Only I could. Comments are coming in at an alarming rate. However, negative ones seem to be more prominent. A criminal group with unknown goals that does whatever it wants in the name of justice. Huh. It's probably because of a catchy. TV's got some crazy sway. He's free to deny our actions, but being cursed by his influence is another thing entirely. Uh, just when we were starting to get people to believe in us, too. All we gotta do is take down another hotshot, yeah? 
Well, do you have any ideas who this next hot shot could be? I ain't got a thing yet. Damn it, this is really irritating. By the way, what's up with that luggage? Oh, I decided to leave the school dorms. You are not only filthy, but too noisy as well. No true art could come from such a place. What are you gonna do then? You can't go back to that shack, right? I was planning on staying at Takamaki-san's, I mean, aunt's house. I've even prepared a thank you gift. I hope it's to your parents' liking. What? There's no way that's gonna happen. Impossible. You're the impossible one. But I spent everything I had on these delectable Japanese sweets. That's not the issue here. Seriously, though, what are we gonna do about him? May as well become a hobo. Uh, yeah, actually, manga cafes are not bad. Then why'd you leave? Well, seeing as Yusuke is an important member of our team, I'll lend a hand. Come stay at our place. It's dirty, but at least you'll have somewhere to sleep. Why are you the one calling the shots? Don't you two live in a cafe? I've been wondering about that for a while. Yonken's not too far, is it? Nope. And the cafe's only a minute walk from the station. How about we go there now? We can have a party to celebrate Madarame's change of heart. Oh, good idea. We can make it a welcome party for Yusuke, too. All right, it's decided. Sorry to cause you trouble. By the <sighs> way, I prefer sleeping on a futon. It'll be up to you to convince the chief. Morgana, it'd be great if you weren't, you know, doing that, but whatever. Nobody listens in this group. What a nice smell. This place looks so outdated. Can't say I hate it, though. People refer to that as retro. Mm. Who are they? Hello. A girl, too? This guy has really helped us a lot lately. <laughs> I bet you're the ones doing all the helping. No, really. He's been great. Huh. Sit down. This round will be on the house. You're helping, though. Wow. It's delicious. Hmm. Indeed. There's great depth to its acidity. Oh, yeah. I remember now. I think I've seen LeBlanc mentioned in a magazine before. <laughs> that was a long time ago. For real? Oh, give me a taste. Ah, it's so bitter. Oh, this has got to be cruel and unusual punishment. I didn't drink coffee when I was a kid, either. These are your friends, yeah? Go on and take them up to your room. No need to stay down here. Ooh, I want to see. It's only an attic. Oh, man. Nah, that bitter taste just won't leave my mouth. Thank you very much for the drink. Up these stairs. Oh, and uh, thanks for the soda. So you're a... Uh... An. An Takamaki. Anchan, huh? It's a nice name. You got a boyfriend? Nope. Never have either. Hey! You gotta get up here! <coughs> this place is freaking insane! So, we can all agree that Boss was hitting on An, wasn't he? Go on. Oh, right. Thank you for the coffee. They had to leave the Mona bag down here. Hmm, sweet girl. Uh, what I never understood. This room. I don't know where to begin. It seems quite ordinary to me. For real. Oh. See, a ain't this crazy? It's cleaner than I thought it would be. What? Well, 
visit wherever you'd like. We're all over the news. Even those who previously believed in us have been influenced by the comments made on TV. This is all that effing Akechi's fault! Keep it down. We don't want anyone hearing us. At this rate, we're just going to worry everyone instead of give them courage. We need to find a way to make our rightfulness known to society. It's time we think about our next move. Yes. First, we need to search for a candidate. It's not like we're just gonna stumble upon some important target, though. You guys don't know anyone, do you? I don't. Me neither. <sighs> what do you think, leader? Eh, what about the news? Well, there probably are a lot of famous targets on TV. However, the suspects on the news are already being pursued by the police. Even if we make them confess their crimes, the police will take the credit. That won't do. Damn it. Never gonna prove a catchy wrong at this rate. What the? Sorry. I haven't eaten anything since yesterday. And you spent all your money on that box of sweets? Dude, how much did you have? Anyway, we'll just have to sit tight until we can find another target. How about that welcome party? Someone's excited. <laughs> I think I found something. Isn't that a portable stove? Can't we make hot pot on it? That sounds great. I've heard that eating hot pot together brings people closer. Anything with meat's fine by me. I only ask that we finish it off with porridge. Extra parsley, of course. So, what do you say? Eh, we'll finish it with udon. What? What my ass? You don't have any cash. Come on, let's go buy ingredients. Well, I'll need ginkgo nuts, wonton wrappers, and... We'll take care of the shopping. Could you borrow a pot from downstairs while we're out? We can split the cost later. Looks like this welcome party is going to turn out quite lively. We should go grab that pot and set up the portable stove, too. You know, I've never actually seen a portable stove. I've only seen photos, but they've never really been, like, the uh, major ones. Like, the ones that are actually usable. I heard you're all having hot pot for dinner. Wanna join us? Don't you know how busy I am? You guys go have fun. Her name was An, right? She's a nice girl. Mm, despite her flashy looks. <laughs> Don't be mean. She said your friend doesn't have anywhere to go. Asked if I could take him in for a bit. I guess she thought it'd be too pitiful for you to ask, since you're already freeloading. Hmm, where did I put that pot? Yeah, try looking around. Somebody needs to like send me a link to where this song is because I need this. It's okay. Dan it dan dan it dan dan it dan dan it Let's see, old earthenware vessel, it could be big enough. Ah, you found it. It's almost time for the others to get back from their shopping trip. So I'll leave you be. I'll be down here for a while though. Just be careful with the fire, okay? And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of our show. After his last appearance was so well received, we decided to bring back this fine gentleman today. It's the high school detective, Goro Akechi. This tastes a bit bland, but I'm relieved. A lot's happened, but it seems your grades haven't dropped. School's been going fine. I'm more worried about you, sis. Are you tired? You're probably lacking sodium. Do I seem so? But hypothetically speaking, if these phantom thieves are real, I believe they should be tried in a court of law. That's quite the statement. 
Are they committing crimes? Some people even say that the thieves are actually helping their victims abandon their evil ways. What the artist Madarame did truly was an unforgivable crime. However, they're taking the law into their own hands by judging him. It is far from justice. More importantly, you should never forcefully change a person's heart. Is it a crime to manipulate someone's heart? Depending on the means, yes. He's absolutely right. Even if it makes someone admit their evil deeds and helps make them pay for their crimes? Why the sudden interest? It's nothing. Do you believe that these allies of justice exist? Oh, of course not. You don't need to think about such unnecessary things. You understand what I'm trying to say, right? Study hard and go to a prestigious college. Moving up in the world is difficult as a woman. Yet you can't do much if you don't have the authority. I'll use every method necessary to make it happen. All you need to do is remain focused on what must be done now for your future's sake. Sorry. <sighs> now... Yes? Mm-hmm, it's fine. Oh, that case. What must be done? Justice. If those Phantom Thieves are out there, out there helping help people, people, I'd root for them, no questions asked. What do I want to do? Oh, I am already prepared to make Makoto literally the best character. Oh, I can't eat another bite. That was delicious, Lady An. I'm sure you'll make a wonderful bride some... <sighs> Sorry. I'm gonna have to borrow the sofa. What's wrong, Yusuke? We haven't finished our meal. What about the porridge? Or even udon? Just leave it for next time, man. <sighs> She's asleep already? And it'd be weird if she wasn't tired. We should let her sleep. By the way, Ryuji, how do you know An? Huh? Oh, we went to middle school together. What was Lady On like back then? Not so different from now. Once we got to high school, we ended up in different classes and stopped talking. I don't think she had many friends. I mean, she grew up overseas. Plus, there's her looks. The popular kids hate her, the quiet ones stay away. I see. So, what about you two? Us? This is a great opportunity to get to know each other better. Oh boy, here we go. You know every detail of my past at this point. It's only fair you tell me every detail of yours. So you got nothing to lose, huh? All right, I'll tell you. It's just a normal story about a rotten kid, though. My dad left when I was young. Ever since then, it's just been me and my mom. I was actually trying to get a track scholarship so I could make things easier for her. In the end, I just screwed it all up. Turns out I'm a pretty bad son, huh? <laughs> Back when I was a first year, my mom got called out to school for me raising my hand at Kamoshida. All the teachers kept hounding her for what I did, but she just stayed quiet through it all. <laughs> I'll never forget the look she had on her face, though. On the way home, she, uh, she apologized to me for being a single mom and all. So that's what happened. They say at school that everyone is equal, but in reality, that's a gross oversimplification. I understand how you feel. Well, when it comes to getting labeled, nobody's got it worse than this guy. Is this about his past? Yep. Now that I think about it, we never have heard the details. So I started blasting. Damn brat! I'll sue! If you keep this up, then I'll report about the money. Is that fine with you? All I have to say is that you did it on your own. And it's over. But I just did as I was told. Who do you think I am? No! Hey, make this statement to the cops. This kid suddenly attacked me. Got it? If you even try to say anything else, you know what'll happen to you, right? Huh? But... 
Shut up. You're done for. You're gonna learn what happens when you cross me. Excuse me, folks. We received a complaint about an argument here. Is something the matter? Oh, it's you, sir. So what happened? Explain it to the good officer. Uh, that young man suddenly attacked him. He shoved this gentleman to the ground, and this man got injured. It's as she says. Also, make sure you deal with this so my name isn't mentioned at all. You understand what that means, correct? Uh, yes, sir. Hey, cop him. Understood. Literally got framed. Just listening to it pisses me off. God damn it! You got an assault on your record just for that. The woman sounds quite horrible as well. She stayed quiet this whole time. That man is just the kind of person whose heart we should steal. Who is he? And where can we find him? I don't... I don't know. You can't remember, huh? Well, it was at night, and I'm sure you were in shock after getting arrested. I understand all too well the pain of not being able to remember important details of your life. The victim's personal information is always kept secret. Identifying that man will prove difficult. Besides, the courts already made their ruling, didn't they? Even if we manage to give revenge, his past record won't go away. I can't stand it! This world is so messed up! The weak are left to fight for themselves while rotten adults get away with whatever they want! And those in power don't do anything to help the situation. Can't we fix this, though? Nobody would even know. We just need to show the world what true justice is. We'll make them come to their senses. You're right, Yusuke. That's gotta be what our powers are for. Sounds good to me. The flashier our missions are, the cooler we end up looking. You've all taught me so much. What are you guys getting all excited about? Oh, sorry. Did we wake you up? Nah, not really. I've been up for a while now. Still, this weird feeling came over me while I was listening to you guys. It almost feels like I've known you all forever. Do you think it's because our backgrounds are so similar? Well, it sure ain't because of anything good. Similar, huh? I'm the only one who doesn't fit in. Hmm? I don't have any past to look back on. No memories. What do you mean? We could search the whole world and we wouldn't find a bigger misfit than you. And the reason we're going to Mementos is to get your memories back, right? I'm sure your past will be just as troubled as ours. No doubt. Hmm. We'll see about that. I actually feel like I've known Morgana for a really long time, too. It's so strange. I can't really put it into words. Look, I I'm helping you guys out for my own sake. Don't get me wrong. If you don't get stronger, investigating Mementos won't be anything but a pipe dream. <laughs> that sure was a quick turnaround. One second you're depressed, the next you're acting all tough. All joking aside, let's take this seriously. We should go as far with it as we can. I want to punish those corrupt adults and give courage to people in trouble. Only we can do that. Ha! You can say that again. Yeah, she's got a point. Being a member of the Phantom Thieves will surely help me grow, both as an artist and as a person. Of course. You're under my tutelage, after all. Well, I hope we can keep this up. We should be all right with you as our leader. Leave it to me. Whoa, it's this late? I guess now's a good time to call it for the night. Oh, that reminds me. The owner said you're free to crash here, Yusuke. That's very kind of him. You convinced him, didn't you? You go, Miss Older Dude Charmer. What kind of nickname is that? Hmm. I won't be able to sleep unless I take a bath. There's a bathhouse nearby, so you can go there. I won't be able to join you, though. Oh, that sounds great. I want to come, too. How about you, Juan? You guys go on ahead. I should get going. Well, good night, Morgana. 
Wait, why just Morgana and not us? Damn it. I need to turn back into a human soon. I can't let her get taken by someone else. <laughs> oh, I am so tempted. I am so, so, so tempted just to fuck with Morgana. Huge bathtubs really are the best. On's missing out. It's a bit hot, though. Old guys like it hot for some reason. I'm sure he'll stop eventually. You know, I've been wondering for a while now, but what do you think about On? As a girl, I mean. Aw, oh, that's not what I meant. Come on, can't you act a little more like a guy our age? Doesn't she at least look better than a celebrity? I'll be sure to share what you've said with Ahn. Oh, please don't! Seriously? That aside, we need to hurry and find our next target. About that, though. Is targeting famous people enough? Seeing people's reactions these days has been making me think twice about what we do. True. Pursuing only what's best in the short term may end up becoming fruitless for us. We need a strategy to appeal to the public. Oh? Well, what do you got in mind? Do I look like someone who could come up with such a thing? I was an idiot for asking. But I'm on offense duty, you know? And Morgana specializes in stuff about that world, so... Hmm... Ah, it's freaking hot! How much do you have to add until you're satisfied, Gramps? I can't stand it anymore! Anyways, let's meet up again early next week. I'll, uh, I'll contact everyone. Okay, so I think after all that, I think this... Check out these picks. Huh. Actually get those photos. Okay, and I can't go anywhere. Uh, of course I can. Well, you need to worry about breakfast for me tomorrow. I'll be fine with some grilled fish and miso soup. 